Kevin, go ahead and say stuff. Kevin, go ahead and say stuff. Kevin, go ahead and say stuff. Okay, you're plenty loud enough. I swear to God, if I get into editing and I still can't hear your voice, I'm gonna break something. Like, ever since Shadowbringers, I've had to go in and just manually turn your volume as high as it can go. Anyway, hello everyone who isn't watching. Welcome to the stream, where we are going to be going into Pandemonium. Abyss of still so so Careful. Sos. Abyssus. A bit sus. A bit, a bit sus. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, Jess won't be able to join us tonight. They are out dealing with stuff not at home. So, just gonna be me and Kevin tonight, who is no longer Aethne Ignisa. You'll have to introduce your bun boy when you get back. Well, it was... I was Asano Soyakaze last time. Were you? Yeah. You made the switch by then? Kevin and I were talking yesterday about how funny it was that we were bun boys for the last year and now we're bun boys again. Not intentionally. Not intentionally. <laughs> I was just like, alright, I've done MSQ, let me go back to bun boy for a bit. This is bun boy Ala. I love he. I decided to go with this glam for this steer just because it's a bit Castlevania y. Off camera, I've been trying to decide what job I'm gonna have all be for 6.3. Just because Bard felt good for post 6.0 when it was like, yeah, new adventure. But now that we're like, okay, time to get serious. I feel like we need something new. Uh, spoiler warning. Kevin and I will more than likely be discussing spoilers from the 6.2 MSQ. Yeah. We gotta talk about that still. Gotta talk about <laughs> Bloodborne Mom. That's what I'm calling her from now on. Until she give us, gives us her real name. Good thing I got some water. Got a lot of reading to do. I've heard people say good things. What those good things are, I'm not sure, but I heard they're good. Well, we know what one boss is, anyway. One of them. I think I've seen the first three just from thinking back on the trailer. There you are. Haha, <laughs> you're short. Anyway, this is Kevin's new bun boy. So, do you want to explain oh, how this happened? Thinks... That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Should I summarize? So while Kevin's dealing with his child, I guess I'll summarize. Basically, he started an alt, uh, where he was going to level up warrior, and he made a bun boy for that, gave him lore, and started going through ARR. And I jokingly told him, hey, be careful, you've attached lore to this boy now, you're going to get attached, and you're going to want to make him your main, and now he's his main. Yeah. <laughs> I told him, I warned him. It it's great lore, because I had <laughs> never went through the Marauder and Warrior quest line at all. I've, well, I think up to like level 20. Uh -huh. But the lore that I made beforehand, before I'd even went through it, fit like a glove. Mm -hmm. And it just got better and better as I kept going through the uh, Warrior quest line. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens. And now we have Raito Kurai. <laughs> Technically, Ala started as an alt too. <laughs> Shall we jump in? Yes. Because we got a lot to go through, I imagine. Oh. An unwelcome visitor. Claudian's eyes are brimming with the excitement of discovery. And... Well, that eye is not exciting. It's not friendly. We worked tirelessly to discern the nature of the crystal. In the process, I detected an anomalous etheric signature, which I believe arose from the memory stored within. Analysis of this pattern suggested a feeling of loss or yearning, specifically the yearning to be made whole. 
and indeed ambient readings have revealed a faint but identical signature. This can only mean that another such crystal exists in our time. Huh. So, my friend, I must depart to search for it forthwith by tracing the matching etheric signature to its source. I believe it will be simple matter uh, to find the crystal, our crystal's twin. No, and he's just gone. Oof. So, two Elpis. You know what? I'm curious about something. I'm going to go to the Crystal Tower and see if I can get to Elpis through there. It's been so long. We were just there in 6.0. It's been too long! I always want to come back to the first. But we got... we got our boy. Yeah, but everyone else is still here. And aging. And aging. <laughs> yep, travel to help us. And we are here. Special boy is here. Who it is that decides which creation will be the subject of the research. Master La Habrea. Such authority is reserved for the chief keyword. And he has taken it upon himself to step into the role. Of course he has. So if Pandemonium's resources were being misused, it would be under La Habrea's authority, correct? <gasps> <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. I know not what you're suggesting, but the keyword also holds... Ah, but the keywords also hold sway within the facility. Not even Master La Abrea would be free from their scrutiny. Unless they're tempered. <laughs> they are duty-bound to report any irregularities as soon as possible. Although I admit as of late their communication has been somewhat sporadic. We but recently received a report from one of the keywords stating that all is well within Pandemonium's halls. Hmm. hmm. Really? And you are certain that a keyword sent it? Yes, of course. Our, communi uh, our communication suffered a temporary obstruction. But I can assure you that the words did their due diligence to in confirming the identity of the sender. Thank you. This information will be helpful to my investigation. That will be all of my prying. Let us hurry. I know not why our adversary sent that report. But it's plain that we must return to Pandemonium with haste. To the salon! Gonna get our nails did. How do you pronounce his name? Themis. That's how I pronounce it. I see people pronouncing it Themis. Or, I mean, he could, he's just The Miz. The Miz. <laughs> WWE Zone, The Miz. Yes. Meanwhile. Whatever it is. <laughs> Oof. What? Who goes there? Yeah. That's one of the little things from the bird fight. The Phoenix fight? The Phoenix. I think I, I think it's pronounced Phoenix. Who knows? Yeah. I just called it King Ghidorah. <laughs> <laughs> there is something to be admired in such single-minded effort, even if your methods leave much to be desired. Stop this farce, La Habrea! What are you doing? Let him alone. Uninvited guests join our reunion. It seems fortune no longer favors you. I'll shoot you right in your eye. It is plain there are worthier subjects to contend with. Bye. I think there's two La Habreas. For some reason, there's two La Habreas. One is the old man we've seen, and I think one is the guy at the bottom of the art. Masks of the Father. Still, I find the notion hard to accept. The misdeeds perpetrated uh, here could not have been done by the La Habrea I know. 
You have met him, yes? Do you think he's capable of this? Ah, oh, Brable is, cap is capable of far more than you know. It's still too early to say for certain. All has been sus sussing this guy the entire time, so... He's just been waiting to point a finger. Do we get a bwomp? Yeah! Don't even know what we're fighting. Ooh, I'm lagging. Oh, and we're going in. Ian! And here we go. Oh. Oh, what the mess? Ah. Hey, you keep your voodoo magic off of me. New music. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah, it's the carbuncle. Oh, I love this music already. Proto carbuncle. Carby, don't look at it. <laughs> Get it. Ooh, right as the music drops. Oh. Okay, what does that mean? That's a magic oh. symbol. Oh, get behind it. I didn't think it'd be quite that wide. We need a ruby glow. That room wide? Yep. Oh, that's a reflect barrier. Uh, so, yes, same behind this side. Yep. Topaz stones. Excuse me. Uh. Okay. okay. Small alien. Uh. Uh. Okay, so. I guess this, uh, don't be on in those ones. Yeah. What's it doing? Acidic slaver. Acidic slaver. Oh. Ew. That's gross. Oh! Puked on us. It's breaking free! This boat's ill. Topaz stones. Uh, this corner. Venom squall. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, I thought those were gonna grow for sure. This one's not too bad. Don't say that yet. Uh... Poison? Those grow... Quite large, too. What the fuck is that? What is that? What are these? What? Oh, Jesus Christ, what's that? What? What is... What? Uh, maybe we're not supposed to be in those? Or the one at... <laughs> it's the order! Oh, I did. Get wrecked. 
<laughs> God damn. I got wrecked. Don't make me use my brain to memorize things. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, I said it, bitch. How dare you? You're not fam anymore. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, now shit's... Now everything's in order? Yep. Uh, just gonna wait for that to go off. Well, it'd be nice if I summon Carbuncle. I live again. I need healing. I could toss you a physic, but it's not gonna do very good. Oh, no. Make it behind. Or not! No! Trickery! Ah! I thought the shield was gonna go away. I thought it went away. I'm blind. <laughs> I did not see it anymore. <laughs> Clever girl. We're being sloppy. Jesus Christ. Here we go again. Over here, safe. For now. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Melee, it's my job to run away. <laughs> oh. Okay. Thank that you. Oh, get behind. We got him, we got him. Yay. Woo. Cool first fight. Oh, now you show up after we done did your dirty work. Game! A new challenger! A minion? Oh, music. Well, dang, I didn't get that. <laughs> I'm not All gonna right. get that. I didn't get that. I want the helm. I didn't get that. I don't want anything else. I got a ring, because nobody else wants the rings. Oh, I got a helm. Yay. Woo. It is he. Laha bread. Red masked holder. <laughs> Where the circumstance is different, I might thank you for keeping my son alive for this long. But I believe we can forego the introductions, unless I have misread you. I'm all too familiar, Paragon. Am I supposed to know? <laughs> a charming appellate. What the fuck is that word? Appellation? Appellation? I don't know what it means. Me neither. It's Google. <laughs> if you truly are who you claim to be, then answer this question. That can wait. Uh, Just shut up, boo. What is this? Looks like the brake spell. Now this is curious. The trap, the trap I wove at your feet reacts to ether, but you remain unaffected. Such thin ether and in an unfamiliar composition besides. It is of no matter, I suppose. A more direct approach will beget the same results. Try me, bitch! I would advise you to think carefully before deciding your next action. Strike me down, and I will become more powerful than you can possibly imagine, and Erichthonius' wish shall remain unfulfilled. Never again shall he meet Athena. Mother! You would dare to hide behind her name! Listen well, Erichthonius. We are of the same mind concerning your mother. You have your allies for protection, so the uh, so what for so what harm is there in hearing me out? Erichthonius, wait. There is a question I must needs ask first. If you truly are La Habrea, why speak such blatant lies? Bitter in defeat, are we? Say my name. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
A simple request. Famous was it, a trifle soon forgotten, as you as are you. I have my answer. The Laha Brea that I knew took pride in the convocation. I would never sever its indign its denigration? Yeah. So many big words. Dang, Elidibus, you you strong. <laughs> you sully his station with this farce. Famous, what are you saying? La Brea and I hardly saw eye to eye, but I know his voice when I hear it. Indeed, he makes a passing fine imitation in appearance and manner. However, the real La Brea would never call me by the name Thamus. Oh! Is this... Ah! There's two La Habreas. I was right. What trouble have you gotten yourself into, Elidibus? Yeah! Now who's this bitch? Imposter. You have no right to claim that form. That mask. Oh, that's why we see it break. What? Who? Just who are you? It was a mask that sickened me to wear. <laughs> the mask of La Habrea, a man who values his position above all, who would murder his own wife in pursuit of duty? Yet you would assume my name and wield my powers that are mine by right. Any worth you may have hinges on wh on that which you so despise. Such trite provocations. I will not be goaded into finishing this ere my work is done. Erichthonius, listen well. I am Hephaestos. It's going to be a while till I figure out how that's pronounced. Hephaestos? Hephaestos? What do you think? Hephaestos. Because it's like... Uh... Hephaestes? Is that his name? I don't know. I'm, I'm not familiar with this at all. Uh, long lost brother of sorts? Who knows? We'll find out shortly, I'm sure. And I... And it is I whom you should call father? You're just gonna say that and leave? What in the name of creation? I knew there was a resemblance. We would do well to not stand idle while our enemy is about. I believe an explanation is in order. Elidibus, let us return to safety so you may provide it. Ah, that sounds more like the Lahabra I know. Before we depart, however, I must offer you an apology. As Lahabra said, I am Elidibus, one of the convocation and emissary of their will. For reasons which do not involve you, it was necessary to hide my identity while investigating this place. Still, that hardly excuses my deception. I mean, we all knew. I had a feeling. Whatever your name is, you're still famous to me. He's always been a litibus to me. I know a thing or two about deception myself. <laughs> Please, help him. Save him. Uh, who's this now? Oh boy. The plot thickens. As you are aware of by now, I am known as Lydibus. After my dear friend Zem and I detected irregularities in Pandemonium, we decided the best course of action would be to hide my station 
as I conduct my investigation. I am sure Lahabre as well is eager to find out why I hid who I was, so I shall save that story for later. First, I would like to speak of you, my friend. Although neither Azim nor I had ever met you in the flesh, you came with his highest recommendation. That alone was enough for me to accept you as an ally without question. That somewhere in the world, a guiding star so similar to himself was out there amused as that to no end. There was no shade of doubt in his heart that you would be a formidable ally. Furthermore, I have heard stories that Mistress Vana, who held the position of Azim previously, journeyed with a familiar much like yourself that made the decision to trust you all the easier. She too now dons the white robes of an advisor. If she placed her absolute faith in you, I knew it would be in capable hands. So that's what the white robes mean. Aware though I was of the path you had walked, uh, I had no interest in exposing you. I merely wanted to meet you, to travel by your side for a while. I may know but a small portion of your whole story, but that's enough for me to believe you would never lead me astray. I wanted to tell you that. Well, now that everything's out in the open for the most part, Keywords Jail, 